Hello. Good morning, my dear junior inter students. You are most welcome to this virtual classes. As you know, little by little, the situations are getting better. And very soon, you can come back to colleges and classes will be very regular. To fill the gap, the Board of Intermediate Education and also APREI Society has introduced the virtual classes even for the junior inter students also. Welcome. This is our second English class. In our first class, we have seen a letter to his son's teacher by Abraham Lincoln. Hope you might have understood and done a little bit at least the assignment given. Okay. As you know, the first year intermediate English textbook has three important parts prose and poetry, supplementary reader, that is extensive reading, a few stories. Next, grammar, communication skills. These are. So we have started the prose lesson. And in this class, let us see a very beautiful poem this is my prayer to the Milad, written by Rabindranath Tagore. Actually, this is a very wonderful poem. Rabindranath Tagore, as you know, is not only a poet, he is a wonderful playwright, essayist, artist, a good painter, musician, and a very good essayist. You see, Rabindranath Tagore is one of the best Indian writers in English. He was born on 7th May in 1861 in Kolkata. It was during the British rule. 1861 he was born in. He was from a Bengali Brahmin Jamindari family. Culturally and financially very rich family. His parents were Devendranath Tagore and Sharada Devi. Unfortunately, our Tagore, Rabindranath Tagore lost his mother when he was in infancy. When he was a small kid, he lost his mother. His mother died. So, lifelong he was longing for mother's love. And often, in most of his books, he talked about his mother, his mother's love. He did not have formal schooling and college. We can say even in UK, he did not regularly go to college. He married Mirinolini Devi. He had five children, three daughters and two sons. A very good poet, writer, painter, composer, philosopher, what not. We can call him a multifaceted personality. Look at the picture. He looks just like a saint, a very simple man, but a great Indian writer a very excellent Indian writer in English. His works are very famous. For instance, 
our national anthem was written by rabindranath tagore not only us bangladesh national song is also written by our rabindranath tagore such a tremendous writer he loves nature he often says nature is his first guru he spent most of his time in nature he loved nature nature was his first guru so why he founded shanti niketan an open air school and it has become very famous when we see his works the best work is gitanjali collection of songs offering songs to god gitanjali is not a single poem it is a collection of 100 plus songs when we see the english version there are one or three songs gora novel postmaster kabuliwala and national anthem for india and bangladesh and his other poems short stories he is very excellent in writing short stories with the subject of indian soil indian culture his kitanjali in english version spread all over the world the people of different universities read and they were really shocked and surprised to find such beautiful presentation and such a beautiful offering to god so this composition collection of songs were really very wonderful and they brought him they bagged him the nobel prize in literature in 1913 rabindranath tagore received the nobel prize for his book gitanjali in 1913 he was the first asian to receive the international award nobel prize the nobel prize so his poems are very different with different philosophy and every time he uses very simple english even common students common people can also understand that is his style he doesn't use bombastic language very simple language he uses in his poems short stories what not in every of his writings such a great writer is popularly known as gurudev a universal poet vishwakavi he is popularly known as vishwakavi gurudev and this great man died on 7th august 1941 in kolkata when we see every song in the poem or gitanjali it is with a touch of patriotism every song has some kind of touch of patriotism as he was in british india he knew pretty well the treatment of the english people so he motivated indians through his literature of different genres to become united he provoked through his literary works to become one and become individual become one and fight for our freedom such a very extraordinary writer our rabindranath tagore the present poem this is my prayer to the milad is taken from gitanjali as i told you gitanjali has one or three songs 
in english version <clears throat> this is the 36th song this is the nobel prize winning composition of the english version the enlightened poet rabindranath tagore received the nobel prize for his gitanjali because of its theme because of its extraordinary presentation very good interesting offering to god how beautifully he offers his prayer to god this is the prayer but this prayer is not an individual prayer this is a universal prayer this prayer represents to all indians here it is prayer of every indian he prays to god for the sake of the nation for the sake of freedom for the sake of people safety security and unity it prays it is a prayer to god to give our indian people good strength spiritual strength he is not asking for material strength he is asking for spiritual strength he talks about spiritual strength and richness he doesn't talk about any kind of material poverty material strength he doesn't want any spiritual weakness in his heart he wants to be rich spiritually he prays to god to drive away all bad qualities evil qualities from his mind the wickedness because the wickedness is the weakness of the mind and soul he talks about he wants it to be removed from the very root of his heart what has to be removed the poverty what kind of poverty has to be removed spiritual poverty when we have that spiritual poverty we lose the quality of compassion we lose the quality of helping others in their need we lose helping our fellow beings when they are in need so he prays to god to remove the penury from his heart the poverty from his heart so he prays to god to strike beat in this poem see he prays for strength to bear joy and sorrow at at the same wavelength so we should not feel very very happy roll on the ground because of winning or getting success or when we are very happy and at the same time we should not be totally upset when there is some kind of sadness or sorrow or any kind of failure both joy and sorrow should be faced with the same kind of tempo at same wavelength that kind of strength he is praying for he is praying to god for a strength that should be very special in an equanimity the strength of equanimity to bear or face the joy or sorrow he wants to serve the people ravindranath tagore wants to help the people serve the people he wants to be one with the poor he doesn't want to be away from people and live materialistic luxurious life he doesn't want to disown the quality of compassion he doesn't want to bow to the insolent people i mean the british they don't know respect they are rich but they don't know how to respect people he doesn't want to bow to their strength to the strength of the british 
he never liked to stand before them kneel down before them fold hands before them he wanted to have his own individuality it was his prayer to the god he is praying to god to give him such strength the poet wants to surrender himself to the god completely and always his service is to the god he wants to serve for the people and that is the great service to god so he wants to surrender himself completely to the will of god with complete love he prays to god to give him strength for all these things for all these things so this is the simple background about the poem this is my prayer to the my lord this is a very simple poem but very great meaning the theme of the poem is praying to god for strength but the strength is very different strength so let us see the poem in detail look at the picture of radhinath tagore how simple he is look at the clarity in his thought and look at the clarity on his face actually ravindranath tagore was always very simple the picture can easily uh, tell us the simplicity of ravindranath tagore he was always very simple he lived a very simple life he loved simplicity actually we can't say whether he was totally believed in god or not believed in god but his philosophy is very different agnostic philosophy what he says there is some kind of power or energy that is beyond our human knowledge that may be considered god so god is somewhere everywhere he is the omni saint omni present omni potent he is the almighty so before going to the poem let us see something why do we pray to god ikkada rabindranath tagore manam enduku devunni prarthinchali ane atvanti oka question veskuntunna what do we wish for when we pray to god actually we wish for ourselves why do we pray to god for some kind of demand to ask for some kind of favor this is the answer that you also give so my dear students when there is a question why do we pray to god quite naturally before examinations we pray to god for some kind of favor in the examinations the same way every person prays to god for some kind of selfishness but is there anyone who can pray to god for the universal goodness if at all there if at all any person is there he is none other than rabindranath tagore it's a universal prayer here is one such prayer by rabindranath tagore let us see this is a wonderful poem actually this poem uh, is a very excellent one we can sing the poem every morning in our prayer also so most of the songs in the collection of poems geetanjali is in the every poem has its own goodness value and this 36th song is a very different form because it is a special prayer the prayer daily we pray to god 
oh my god give me strength to do this oh my god give me some money to buy lands to buy new houses this is our prayer oh my dear intermediate students listen ippati varaku manam ramendranath tagore gurinchi chusamu ee poem ఎటువంటి పరిస్థితుల్లో వ్రాయబడింది అనేది చూసాము ఒక్కసారి గమనించినట్లయితే ఇది దిస్ ఈస్ మై ప్రేయర్ టు ది మిలాడ్ అనేటువంటి ఈ భూయం ఒక ప్రత్యేకమైనటువంటి ప్రార్థన అందరూ స్వార్థంతో ప్రార్థన చేస్తే మన విశ్వకవి గురుదేవ్ రవీంద్రనాథ్ ఠాగూర్ గారు ఈ విశ్వం కోసం ఈ దేశ ప్రజల కోసం ఈ ప్రార్థనని భగవంతునికి సమర్పిస్తున్నారు అంటే ప్రతి ఒక్కరూ శక్తిని కావాలి ప్రతి ఒక్కరికి శక్తి కావాలి కానీ ఆ శక్తి ఎందుకు అనేటువంటి విషయాన్ని ఇక్కడ చాలా చక్కగా ఈ పోయంలో చెప్తాడు స్వార్థంతో తనకు మాత్రమే శక్తి కావాలి అనేటువంటిది ప్రతి ఒక్కరూ చేసే ప్రార్థన కానీ మన రవీంద్రుడు చేసేటువంటి ప్రార్థన చాలా ప్రత్యేకమైనటువంటిది అతని మనసులో ఎటువంటి పరిస్థితిలోనూ పేదరికము అంటే ఈతరాలు ఇతరులకు సహాయపడలేని ఆ గుణము తన మనసులో ఉంటే అది పేదరికానికి సంబంధించినది అలాంటి పేదరికాన్ని తన మనసు నుండి పూర్తిగా తొలగించి వేయమని ప్రార్థిస్తున్నారు అలాగే ప్రత్యేకమైనటువంటి శక్తి కోసం ప్రార్థిస్తున్నారు ప్రజలందరికీ అవసరాల్లో ఉన్న వాళ్ళకి సహాయపడగలిగేటువంటి ఒక మంచి మనసు దానికి తగిన శక్తినివ్వమని భగవంతుణ్ణి ప్రార్థిస్తున్నారు Here is the poem. This is my prayer to thee, my Lord. Strike, strike at the root of penury in my heart. You see how beautiful the first two lines are. Oh, my Lord, this is my prayer to thee. I have given the meanings. Thee, thou, thy, thine. these four are very special poetic words mainly these words are used in poems to refer god meaning is you are your oh my god this is my prayer to you my lord my god what is my prayer here strike strike at the root of penury in my heart there is penury in my heart poverty it is not materialistic poverty it is spiritual poverty you beat that poverty from my heart you remove the poverty of selfishness the poverty of not helping the poverty of cruelty you remove that poverty from my heart strike strike beat remove the roots from root level once again they should not be the same quality of poverty so here this penury means poverty here poverty refers to spiritual poverty so my heart should be filled with the quality of compassion give me the strength lightly to bear my joys and sorrows i want strength my dear god my lord i want strength what kind of strength do i need to bear my joys and sorrows lightly when there is a most to happiness i should take it in a very light way i should not roll on the ground i need not feel jump when there is sorrow 
I should take it very lightly. I should not totally upset. That strength I need it now. I pray for that kind of strength. The strength which treats the joy and sorrow at the same tempo or wavelength. To consider them, to take them very lightly. Oh my God, give me the strength to face joy and sorrows with equanimity. Give me the strength to make my love fruitful in service. In serving the poor people, the needy, I should have wholehearted love. It's not a duty. It should not be a duty. I should feel that it's my complete love for the needy. It's my complete love to help the needy in the society. Give me the strength to help the needy in the society with lots of love and affection. That kind of strength I am in need of now. At present, I am badly in need of strength. The strength is to love the needy and help them. To serve the people. When serving the people, I should not have any kind of indifference. I should have full, wholehearted love. I should have complete love in helping the poor people. Give me strength never to disown the poor or bend my knees before insolent fight. Oh, my dear God, give me strength. I want strength never to disown the poor people. I should never neglect the poor people. For that, what kind of strength is needed? Give me, please. I should never disown. I should never become away. I should never be away from the poor people. I should always be with the poor people. I should love the poor people. And another kind of strength I want. I should never bend or kneel down before the insolent people. Here it refers Rabindranath Tagore wants the strength of individuality that he should never kneel down or stand before or bend before the British, the disrespected, insolent British people, the power of insolent power. They don't know what is respect. They don't know what is politeness. Rude, wild. Before such British, I should not stand and bend. I should not kneel down. What kind of strength is needed for it? Please give me. I worship. I pray to you. Give me the strength not to bend myself before the insolent people, the disrespected people, the wild people. I mean the British. I don't like to be a slave to them. My country, my people, never should, they should never become slaves to the British. Here, I, my, refers every Indian. It's not his individual prayer. I have already told you it is a universal prayer. So here, I, my, refers every Indian. Give me the strength to raise my mind high above daily trifles. There are many not valid, invaluable, so little valuable things in daily life. My mind should always raise above all these little valuable things. For that, give me the strength. There are so many unnecessary things happening in a daily life when British were ruling the kingdom, I mean nation or India. Above all these things, my mind should raise. My mind should always be a dominating one before the unnecessary things 
done by the British people. And give me the strength to surrender my strength to thy will with love. Finally, to surrender complete love to you. I wish to surrender my complete love to you, my God. Give me that strength. So with that strength, I can come and offer complete strength to you. My love is totally for you. My love is totally for the God. That means every Indian should offer their love to the God. For that, they should have some strength. Oh, my God, give every Indian, give every person in this country good goodness, helping nature, and to love the people around him. Give strength for all these things. Finally, to surrender their love to you with fruitful pride, with complete love, they should surrender everything to you. For that, strength is needed. I worship you, please. I pray you. I pray to you. This is my prayer to you, my Lord. Please give me the strength to have all these things. So this is a very beautiful poem written by Rabindranath Tagore. When we see very deeply what a beautiful philosophy behind it. It's not individual. It's a universal prayer. Bharat Desham lo nunna twenty. Andari kosam. Andaru yelanti parasit lo naru. Chusi. A prajalandaru kuda. Swatantranto. Santoshanga unde rosulu ravalani. E poem vara. Bhagavantanik samar pistu naru. Shaktini vamani. Tana manasu lo unne twenty. Chedun purtiga tolaginchi. Avasarallo naval kandariki kuda. Sahai padi twenty gunan nivamani. E poem dvara. Rabidana Tagore. Bhagavantuni pradis to nadu. So this is the poem. So he prays to God for strength. That should give him complete love and affection to help the needy. And they should not be spiritual poverty. That's penury in his heart. At any cost, he should always at the service of people. And finally, he asks for strength to surrender his love to the will of the God. And he prays to God for the strength to help the needy. And at any cost, he did not like to kneel down before the rude and wild people in this country. I mean the British, they were ruling. He is praying to God for the strength. That strength should give him equanimity to take, whether it is joy or sorrow, treat in the same way, very lightly. So this is a beautiful poem written by Rabindranath Tagore. When we come to the exercise part, there will be a paragraph question. The paragraph question is, how unique is Tagore's prayer to God? Yes, it is a very unique poem, no doubt in it. The prayer is something that we pray to God for our favor, for some kind of benefit for us. But Tagore's prayer is very unique, special, because it is a universal prayer. This prayer is not for himself. This prayer is for the sake of the people of this country. He is praying to God to give all Indians strength. Strength to help the people who are in need. Love people 
in the society to take happiness or sadness very lightly not to kneel down or bend before the insolent power of the british people and finally the strength to surrender his total love to the will of the god so this is a very unique prayer when writing this there should be three paras the first paragraph is tagore's poem this is my prayer to the milord is taken from the geetanjali a collection of 103 songs written by rabindranath tagore this is the 36th song in the book geetanjali this is not an individual prayer this is a universal prayer gurudev vishwakavi these are the special titles of ravidnath tagore tagore is not only poet he is a writer he is a playwright he is a novelist short story writer painter musician what not a multi faceted personality and the present poem is a very different one it talks about the strength what kind of strength every person in india needed when this poem was written actually uh, it was written in 1912 at the time the country was under the rule of british how badly they treated indians so he was not at all comfortable during that rule so there is a shade of patriotism to this poem yeah every song in this geetanjali has some kind of patriotic shade for example where the mind is without fear very beautiful poem so this is the first paragraph second paragraph this prayer is a unique prayer because when we pray to god we pray for our favor but here tagore prays for the favor of the whole nation every person in this nation should have special strengths the first strength is to beat the poverty of non cooperation or not helping others so that bad or evil should be removed from the heart to remove from the heart he needed some strength when bad is removed automatically the heart is filled with good quality of compassion so for that special strength he is praying to god actually this is the second paragraph what are the other strength he is praying for to treat joy and sorrow very lightly to help the needy in the society to surrender the complete love to the will of the god so all these strengths he is praying for should be in the second paragraph in the third paragraph we can write about general all poems in all the songs in the geetanjali are very different every song has a uniqueness every song directly or indirectly talks about the british rule and this is the third paragraph when you write 10 to 50 lines that becomes a beautiful answer what kind of strengths uh, do tagore seek and why actually tagore is uh, seeking for 
very special strength, strength to beat the poverty from his heart, strength to treat happiness and sadness very lightly, strength to help the people with lots of love and affection, strength to be close with the poor people, strength to surrender his love to the will of the God, strength not to surrender or kneel down or bend before the insolent British power. So these are the different strengths he talks about. So this should be in the second paragraph. The first paragraph is once again very common and third paragraph is very common. This is the assignment. You try to uh, write. And when you come to annotation, oh my dear intermediate first year students, this is a, a very new one for you because up to 10th class, there was no annotation. So annotation is a very different one. <clears throat> Here, you should know what are the subtitles that we should, how to write annotation. It should also be in three paras actually or four paras. Two lines or one line from the poem is taken and given. Annotate the following. Give me the strength to make my love fruitful in service. This is the line. Reference, where from this is taken. These lines are taken from the poem, This is my prayer to the Milant, written by Ravindranath Tagore. Tagore is popularly known as Gurudev. He was a multifaceted genius. He won the Nobel Prize in Literature for his major poem, Geetanjali, in 1913. This poem is the 36th song in Geetanjali. It has a universal appeal. Next context. This is the extract from the poem, This is my prayer to the Milat, written by Rabindranath Tagore. So these are the closing lines of the poem. The poet prays to God to give him the strength to serve him with love. This is explanation. That is a meaning. Tagore refers to the concept of equanimity. He prays to God for strength to serve people with love. He prays to God to give him strength to care for the difficulties we come across daily. He requests God to convert his love into selfless service. So this is the explanation. And general relevance, Tagore believes that service to man is service to God. Our true love lies in the true service to humanity. So the helping hands are far better than the praying lips. So we should help the poor people. It is the best way. We should believe in service to humanity is service to God. So this is the general relevance. So when coming to the annotation part, any two lines may be given from the poem. For the poem, for each annotation, first one, reference is same, general relevance may also be same, context may also be same, but only explanation you should change according to the lines, the actual meaning of the given lines that you should write. <clears throat> so, from the poetry or prose, paragraph question and annotation. These are the actually uh, needed from the, for the examination point of view. So, my dear children, you should once again recollect something about the poem. The poem is a very simple and Actually, it's a very simple poem that every one of you can easily uh, understand the summary, uh, what each line says, because every line is very simple. The words are also very simple. Uh, when you follow uh, one or two times this, when you listen to this one or two times, certainly you will 
understand the summary and you can write answer to any question. A common thing, what kind of strength Raghunath Tagore is praying for? That is the general question. That is the common thing. So you read the poem, you yourself can understand very easily. It's a very simple poem and do the assignment given. There are two questions I have given. You write each question in three paras, first paragraph, third paragraph, very common. The second paragraph is the actual content, the subject that you are going to write to the question given. This is the thing. So uh, when you finish your assignments up to date means certainly it will be good for you. Otherwise, uh, everything will become a complex. So let us hope for the better days very soon and have textbook, read each and everything regularly, do something, don't waste your time. Stay safe, stay secure. Thank you very much. Namaste. Jai Hind.